Hey guys, welcome back to Ganchi Plans. Uh, today I'm going to be flipping through my Moterm A7 or pocket size ring planner. Um, and I guess we'll just kind of jump right into it. This is April, still April 2021. Um, the front pocket has some stickers and some um, like miscellany, uh, you can see, yeah, my vaccine card. That's pretty cool, that's new. Um, just got my first shot of Moderna a couple weeks ago. Anyway, uh, all of these, I got the question about these tabs and unfortunately the shop that I got them from doesn't seem to exist anymore on Etsy, um, but there are others like it. Uh, I think if you look for like frosted plastic tabs, uh, I, I haven't mentioned in a while the word that I got on there now. It's supposed to mean a couple different things. One of them is like, get it done now. Another is like, focus on the moment as opposed to, you know, living in the future, which I tend to do with my planner. Um, anyway, uh, it's a little bit scuffed up, but that's because it's protecting the pages. And then a lot of these acetates are from Peanuts Planner Co. This one is. I kind of decorated the front with some, um, like, variegated washi. It's not variegated, but all the different colors sort of match. It came in a set. I got it off Amazon. If you care, I can find you a link, but it's whatever. Um, you'll have seen, if you haven't seen my planner, my plan with me video, I do a monthly plan with me video. So subscribe. And this is on my channel. But um, yeah, this is a newer insert just released last month from my shop, insert 33, which is like a grid monthly. And so you've got the weekends on the one column. So I'm using a, a Monday start. And honestly, it hasn't been weird. Um, I kind of like having the weekends together. So, and I think especially like next week, or sorry, next month, I'm going to have more like weekend plans that span a couple of days. So one of them is a Friday to Saturday thing. So maybe, maybe that's not, maybe it's not as convenient as I thought, but, um, yeah, it worked out for me. I just kind of flipped to this at least once a week and then pull things over to my weeklies, which we will get to. Um, one thing, one year tracker from my summer touch on one side, I have my one line a day journal, which I don't fill this out every single day, the tracker. Um, I kind of go back and fill it in after a while. My NFP chart, level 10 life. This is, I always forget insert five. I think I don't have it printed on the back, so I can't tell. I've redid this like mid month. Um, I kind of like to do this every maybe two months or so, just kind of recenter. I'll, I'll fill out how I feel I'm doing in these different areas um, without looking at the previous one and then like compare to see if I feel like I've improved or whatever. This month, I was really trying to focus on not just things that like how I felt it was going, but how I felt with my progress. So if I felt like my progress was in the right direction, like my velocity as it were, um, was correct, you know, fast enough and in the right direction, then I would mark it pretty high. Um, even if I'm not like every, exactly like a perfect life, perfect 10 across the board, if I feel like I'm going really well in a certain direction towards a certain goal or whatever for my life, then uh, I rated it higher. So, and then I use these colors here to color code some goals that I have for myself um, based on these. And I'm finding that this is a really nice way to sort of recenter and focus on like what I want to get done, um, personal development wise. And so this is also color coded to the same scheme here. This is my monthly resolutions, which is check insert 11. Um, and yeah, so this month I haven't put notes yet cause it's like not over yet, but I've been like focusing on my AM and PM skincare routine for this month as a monthly goal and it's been working pretty well. I think I only skipped like one day and one night so far. A waiting on list, I figure this is just the best place for it. I don't use it that often. I probably should like for emails and phone calls and stuff, but generally it's just for like, a lot of these are some things that have been here for a year and I think it's a, about time to just put on a mask and go get, get them done. <laughs> Um, these three top tabs are supposed to be for like three projects. So this first one, I'll like kind of only cover half of it, um, is my content stuff. I have a separate content planner, which I don't remember if I flipped through the whole thing. I think I did. Um, uh, if I did, I'll probably remember to put that in the corner. Um, but I have moved just like my calendar, my content calendar in back into the main planner so that I know what's coming up without having to pull out a separate planner, but I still pull out that separate planner to do the actual like journaling and planning and deciding like 
you know, prep for the video, um, as well as some other record keeping things. Uh, tab number two is for the garden. As, as it hits from here, let's plan our co again. So this is a layout of my raised garden bed, and mm, a lot of this stuff has gone in. Not everything yet, because the spinach is still going strong. I still have one collared plant that's going well. But I've got the trellises up and the pickles started, and the weather is warming up, and so they're starting to take off a little bit. Um, this is plans for the trellis. It's not exactly like this. Then this was just a general to-do list. It's getting pretty full, so at some point I'll probably replace it with a new piece of paper, but it's just whenever I have something to do in the garden, I don't want to forget it. And then when I have time on Saturday, like not know what I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, tab three here, I moved my milk tracking um, in here. Again, acetate from Peanuts Planner Co. Um, I didn't mention yet in this video, but like I did a little bit of a reshuffle just like today. Uh, because I'm, I feel like I need to shake things up every so often to keep it fresh and to keep me going. Um, so I just kind of moved some things around and one of them was putting all of my breast milk pumping logs in one place. Uh, at some point it's going to get to be too much probably and I'll have to like move some of them out. But so far it's everything from the time I went back to work, which was what the end of December. So three full months ago now. So this insert is number 18 from my shop, and it can be used for anything, but I use it for breast milk. Um, and oh, I need to, <laughs> I didn't even finish taking my notes for today, but this is what I do is like input and out like what she drinks uh, and then my totals for the beginning and the end of the day, because I'm a bit meticulous and anal about keeping track. <laughs> So the first tab, uh, side tab, is my weeklies. So I put a little cover photo. That's my older daughter. She does not breastfeed. So I've been using insert 28, which is this faux Dutch door situation. I've got the weekly to-do list here with these dailies. And it's been working well. I've gotten into a groove with it where I put like my content production stuff here and then these are for three up to three projects with some next action items so that's giving me a good focus the problem is that like I'm not actually scheduling time to do the things um, and so that's what I'm trying to focus on that's what I talked about in last week's video um, the habits have been going pretty good except for whatever reason I've been having trouble getting my girls vitamins inside them um, I have one more week of these printed out oh this is tucked in here this is a new insert, 20, uh, 36, is a weekly time tracking or time blocking insert. And so I made this because, as a lot of my inserts, I made this because I wanted to use something like this. So the idea here is that I um, can like lay out my whole week and see like, okay, this section here I have and this section here I have, and this is like what I'm gonna get done that day, one focus for the day. and. Um, this was actually set up for last week, uh, but I didn't pull it out. I figured I'd show it to you. You can take a look at that if this is the sort of layout that appeals to you. If you're anal about the widths being exactly the same, this is going to bug you, but I thought that it just made more sense as far as having, you know, no wasted space. But anyway, this exists. I was just saying I have one more set of weeklies printed out here, um, and then I'm going to switch to a different weekly setup for next month. Not that this one isn't working for me, but just that I... Like I said, I need to shake things up um, and I think I need something. I, I don't know if what I'm moving to is going to be better or worse, but it'll be different. And hopefully that'll get me at least thinking about what I'm doing because instead of just, you know, same routine every day. This is my meal planning uh, insert number 27. So I have basically this is the stuff we have in our cupboard right now. And I made the baked potatoes tonight. So when they're all eaten, I'll cross off the third checkbox. And the circles are for whether it's shelf stable or not. Uh, so I was trying to get things out of the way that needed to be eaten sooner than later. So I don't want the potatoes to go bad or the salad greens to go bad. So that's all that's in tab two right now is just meal planning. Because um, I have enough tabs for it and I figure, okay, there you go. Uh, tab three, I've got bookmark on because this is my inbox. It's a brand new inbox. It's gorgeous. It's blank. It's clean, clean slate. I can fill it with whatever. And I do. It's just for anything that doesn't have a space somewhere else. And then, um, the idea, <laughs> this is my sticky note index, 
which I've talked about several times. I did a shorts video about it, but basically it's everything that's in this section gets a sticky note. And then if I move them around, I can move them around. And so that's why they don't match. Um, this is supposed to be the project section. So I have a someday maybe list, a sort of a repository of project ideas. Then some stuff about some craft projects that honestly, these have been moving, these inserts have been moving around my planner for the last year. And I have not been making progress on the craft projects. But you know what? They're, it's not top of mind. It's not the thing that I'm worried about right now. So I'm not doing it. But they're still in here. Because um, I guess I have room for them. And then Game Notes. Yeah, this is a mobile game I play. And I'm like, I chopped off the stuff I don't need. This is just a little bit more that I do need. And anyway, I'm not super proud about the fact that I play a mobile game enough that I keep notes about it. But I'm probably not the only one, right? Let's be proud but I'm not telling you what it is. Uh, this next section is reference. So it has another sticky note index. And then, um, as I said, they don't, they don't match because this one moved from the other section to over here. Library books here. I, uh, actually just checked out some more that I need to notate. Uh, they still are not enforcing due dates at our library. And so I haven't been as up on top of it, but I don't want to forget which books I have, especially because my daughter will take them and hide them in her room and, you know, never want to get rid of them. So my to watch list is looking crummy. Um, like I, I feel like I want to make it pretty, but I might actually make an insert of it like, uh, to officially, uh, oh, the library book insert is 16, right? Then gift ideas. This is actually a prototype version. Insert 38 and 39, gift ideas and wish list. These are prototype versions. I filled them out, uh, decided I wanted them to be different. And so I've actually just been working on changing those. So they should be going up in my shop sometime around the, by the end of the week, I would think, um, cause I want to get those up by the end of the month. Cause the first video of every month I go over what's it released the month before. So you'll get more details then and see the official, like what it looks like, uh, in my shop soon. And then the examination of conscience insert that is a freebie from my shop. I posted it last month. Uh, if you are interested in that is specifically designed and actually there's nothing on here yet. I print, I, I punched it on the outside and folded it over so that it's like, you cannot see what's on the inside without opening it up and like making a whole point of it. Um, but this is what it looks like. It's like a confession prep. And uh, the idea here is that I can go through and like add stuff and then close it up until I get to confession. Um, and nobody, even me, would be able to see it until it's time. Um, but I haven't actually started filling it out yet. So there's room for like when and where you're going to confession, how long it's been, then notes on what you, what sins you need to confess and what your penance is. So that's what's in here. And that's why it's folded over uh, on the back are a couple of prayers that I find useful. Again, I went over all of this in my uh February releases is that right no March releases uh video then tab five I can count is my future log and this never changes this is from peanuts planner co the dated yearly bundle I buy it every year on black friday it's my favorite and then this one is from a freebie monthly from peanuts planner co and so it's the end afterwards so this is anything that happens next year um we got comic-con was pushed back another year so we have dates um and then this is for anything after that and then birthdays and anniversaries i think i added something recently but i don't remember where or what maybe it was just my nephew who was born last year and then my recurring tasks list too many s's in that sentence recurring tasks list Insert 17, uh, which I have shown you before, but um, I'm getting ready. I have a couple more things to do like in April and then consolidate the couple of other things onto one sheet again. Um, but this is where I keep track of all the things that happen every so often and when I did them last. Tab six is spare paper sticky notes. These are my favorite. Well, this color is my favorite post-it notes that I got at an onion set store. And so I try not to use them up because it's a finite resource. Jet pads, I did a video about jet pads once, but I am probably out of iCards and actually don't care to go find it because it's probably not any good, but whatever. Um, and then some more spare pages. This one and this one are freebies. And this one is insert number three, which is just a checklist, which isn't a freebie. 
Maybe it should be. Maybe someday it will be. Uh, anyway, then there's the flyleaf in the back where I keep all of my wallet stuff. Because this is my wallet. Because why carry a separate wallet when you can just carry a pocket planner instead? One of the reasons I really do like having this compact size. Um, generally, if I'm like going into a store or wherever, um, I will just grab this and my phone and carry those with me. Um, and put you know my keys in my pocket, I guess. And that's everything I need. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Subscribe if you're not already because I post planner content on Thursdays and I will see you guys in the next video. It's going to be, oh my goodness, a monthly plan with me already. See you then. Bye.